my current vista. Um, here I am in my summer house which is my very glamorous shed um, or building in my garden. Um, the sun is shining, the birds are singing, the whippets are sleeping of course um, and it is just heavenly. The, everything is good with the world except when the whippet rolls over and bumps into my, um, <laughs> my tripod. But never mind, we'll, we'll go with that. Um, if I'm looking a little bit um, day after the night before, it is because I went to a party last night, uh, one of my best friend's 50th birthday parties, and if it's okay with you, I'm going to indulge you with a picture of what I wore, because yes, of course I made it. <laughs> so I, um, the, the theme was something beginning with C, W um, or K, because um, they are their, their initials, and uh, I went as a witch. <laughs> So um, it's a lovely story really because um, back in the day when Harry Potter first began my auntie's um, son, so my cousin, um, was mad about Harry Potter. I am now, I, didn't, I wasn't then um, and the cloak I'm wearing is his original Harry Potter cloak um, and uh, yes yeah, so it's a size, thanks Alice, a size 8 to 10 child's wizard cloak uh, but I love it I think it really looks kind of right you know good fun but I made the dress which I'll put some footage in here and uh, um, I bought at the rag market in Birmingham last year this novelty um, stretch uh, cobweb fabric and uh, 75p a meter something like that you just never know in life when you're going to need a um, a Halloween costume is my view so I'm delighted I purchased that and with no view of ever needing to wear it but um, knocked up a very very quick dress and the dress I've made there is actually the Emma blouse from Tiana Designs um, which I wear all the time as you well know and um, I just literally um, eyeballed the length of the dress I wanted and just elongated the t-shirt into a dress. Seriously this dress has shoulder seams and side seams that was it I just because it's netting or it like a you know a jersey I just cut it I didn't hem it I didn't even um, overlock the sides nothing it took me less than 10 minutes to make I reckon so oh and what a result I'm just so chuffed a lovely hat that I got from Amazon with this lovely spider dangling on it yeah great fun so if I sound a bit hoarse, it's because I've been singing and I've been dancing, but I want you to see that I live my life um, away from sewing occasionally. Uh, but today, today is this day, um, so very excited as always to receive this. And actually what's really lovely about this particular month, because there's no label on the front, is I have been working at Little Miss So and So every Saturday through June. I've been helping with... Um, helping with the dressmaking, uh, uh, sorry, Learn to Sew um, Club in the mornings and then um, actually doing assisted sewing teaching in the afternoon, which I have thoroughly enjoyed. So if you're one of the lovely ladies that I've met over my um, the last four weeks, hello, um, thank you for being there. Um, I have thoroughly enjoyed being part of your life. And so this month, um, Nicola and the team said, well, could you know, take your box with you, which is brilliant. Oh, we should have done that um, a long time ago, really. So, the box, it's here. Let's have a look. Um, so, um, the, we were talking about this yesterday, actually, the, the All Set to Sew subscription box. Because you get to choose your fabric and you get to choose your pattern, it's less likely that this fabric is going to collate in a stash of fabric at home because you'll know what you're getting and therefore you can make it fit in with your lifestyle. And I hope over the last, it's because I've been doing this for now six months, I think, I hope you'll see over the last six months um, the variety of patterns that you can choose from and the variety of fabrics is just, well, it's awesome. And very often they are, um, you know, cutting edge right there, released, um, just released patterns, which is amazing. 
Um, I will, I've got an, another whippet now. Um, I will put in the um, a screenshot here, as I always do, um, of the amazing um, email that you get on the first of the month. And I absolutely love receiving that email. It's such a nice touch point to the beginning of the month. And, oh, what's it going to be? What shall I choose? And I always filter it so that you've got either stretch or woven. Um, so I tend to start with the pattern because, you know, <laughs> who wouldn't? Um, and then you can sit and choose um, what sort of fabric um, you have as well. So there were some, uh, some beautiful choices this month. Absolutely lovely. Um, so let me uh, take you through what they were. Yes, yeah, so as you'll see in the video here, um, which is the, the sort of uh, screenshot, if you like, or video, whatever you call it, of, um, of me making my decision, um, two superb choices again this month. Nicola really has got an amazing eye for patterns. And this month's choices were um, a Seasons of East New York dress. This is just divine. Um, sort of, uh, not allowed to say kimono sleeves anymore, but kimono style sleeve with a beautiful V. Um, <clears throat> some pleats at the front, but really smooth front. And then at the back, there's this beautiful slight blousing uh, effect uh, created by um, some gathering in the top yoke and then some beautiful pleats and a lovely straight pencil skirt. Absolutely divine, this dress. Um, and I happen to have seen Nicola's version sensational um, and then the other tr um, choice of dress is um, the Elena dress from Fiber Mood um, so uh, the Seasons of East New York dress is the woven choice and then the Elena um, from Fiber Mood is the jersey choice now Nicola always chooses patterns that um, come in a size 6 to 30 so they're as size ex um, inclusive as possible um, and I know she has great fun choosing her patterns Oh my word, absolutely sensational um, options. Um, and I'd actually um, just made the um, Louis, Louis dress. Oh my word, is that right? L O I S, Louis dress by Tasuti Patterns. So um, a very, very similar design to the Seasons of East dress. So, but anyway, let's see, let's see what I chose. Um, so as always, comes in a beautiful box. Now Nicola had run out of the smaller boxes, which is why um, we ended up with a, I ended up with a larger box, which is fine. But inside, beautifully wrapped. Um, and I did say, should I bring my box back so I can right, recycle the Cara box every month, which I think I still might do, to be fair. So it comes beautifully packaged. A um, little bit of rustling in the next section, as always. But look at that, absolutely stunning. I genuinely do wish I knew how to wrap presents as well as that. <laughs> Love it. Fantastic. Got a lovely little sticker there. Superb. Okay, sorry about the rustling. Let's have a look. So as always, don't forget, you get a lovely... Um, so you get, obviously, you get the pattern, you get the fabric, you get a haberdashery gift, and obviously you get the instructions um, and the, the pattern itself. Oh, I say. Oh, that's good. Oh, I love this. Look at this. You get a wrist pin cushion, which is on elastic. What a great idea. I've seen the magnetic ones before, but I've not seen a, a, a wrist version of that. That's absolutely superb. I love it. Um, oh, I say, goodness, this is great. Um, and then here we've got, um, to all our Set to Sew members, the stretch choice. This month we chose the Fibre Move Alina dress as we love the relaxed casual feel with additional added feature of a cut out back. I think that looks sensational. Made in lightweight jersey, uh, sorry, my lightweight French terry, that's a nice idea, or single knit jersey. This is a perfect beach throw over a comfortable stylish dress for the summer picnic or pub lunch. And um, so you can see that I went for the Elena. I'll show you the fabric in a moment. And if I'm honest, the, because I just made the lowest dress by, um, uh, by Tassuti Patterns, I didn't need another formal dress and I actually really like um, you know sort of wearable um, casual dresses if you like um, once you've made your stretch version of Alina you can make a woven version and she works particularly well with chambray or double gauze oh that's a lovely idea that's a fantastic idea um, fantastic it's, that's amazing so yeah um, a lovely little note there from from uh, from Nicola so in, in the kit, you always get the notions that you need. 
So I've got um, a really nice roll at reel of um, Gutterman thread there. Got the elastic, that's for the um, the casing at the back. Um, oh, it must neckline must be finished with bias binding. That means this is going to be a super speedy make, which speed isn't always the essence I'm looking for, by the way, everybody, but it helps. Um, you've got a section of interfacing. I imagine that's something to do with the neckline, or uh, maybe the back the back casing, and you've got the you've got the um, pattern pages there. Just, and then this is the fabric I went for. Ha ha ha. So it's white. Oh, it's so lovely. The quality of the fabrics is always sensational. Um, so it's white and it's just basically got um, sort of tropical flowers all over it. So it's non directional. But I thought, I don't think I've got a white based dress. So I just thought that would really be um, just sort of a nice pop of colour, if you like. Um, especially for such a. Um, it's such an easy to wear, simple dress. Um, I just thought that would be amazing. So, I really, really look forward to sharing with you my Elena dress, um, if that's right. Yeah, Elena dress um, by, uh, by Fiber Mood. And the next time you see me, guess what? I'm gonna be wearing it. See you in a mo. Ta-da! And here we are. Oh, the Elena dress by Fiber Mood in this amazing um, cotton jersey, um, which I haven't got many things in a white background actually, I don't think, so it's really refreshing to make something so bright and summery, although a lot of my clothes are bright and summery, so it's not white based. So what do I think? What do you think? Let me squidge over and I'll, I'll put the footage in here. Um, got seagulls gulling and things, I'm out in my summer house on a beautiful morning. So um, yeah, so Here's the footage um, and some photographs. Um, it is a really um, quick dress to make. Um, I sadly made a mistake, um, so caution to those who are looking to make this dress. Um, the f and I made the same mistake recently on another pattern, which is really annoying. When you cut out the PDF, the top and the bottom of the skirt are um, two separate pattern pieces and you need the, to glue them together to make it one whole pattern piece. I didn't spot that. In fact, what's really frustrating is there's a blue line on the bottom half of the top section of the front of the dress, um, and so I cut round that. I just did it on autopilot. I didn't see the instructions that said um, glue them together. It makes perfect sense that I should have done that because in all of the rest of the pattern pictures, it's the one front piece cut in the fold. So word to the wise, I didn't. So I do have a seam in this dress um, on the front, which is super annoying. Um, Yesterday it's all I could see because I wore the dress all day yesterday. But today I've put it on and I haven't. I haven't. Yeah, my eyes, eye isn't drawn to it. So I'll, I'll let you guys be the judge of that. Can you see my seam? Is it offensive? If it is, there's nothing I can do about it. <laughs> anyway, moving on. A lovely, lovely, lovely um, construction of dress. So you start with the back piece. Um, because obviously the back is in the two sections, which I'll put some pictures of here. And it's quite hard to take the pictures of the back, actually. Um, and it's very simple. So you basically make a hem on the back piece. You make a hem, and therefore, uh, sorry, you turn up a hem on the back piece to fit, finish the edge. On the skirt back piece, you fold it down, and that essentially makes you a casing. And you put some elastic into the casing, and then you sew the casing shut, which is really super simple. You then sew the, sew the top and the bottom together, just at a small section on the side so that you have got the gap. You then put the fronts and the backs right sides together, sew the shoulders as you would ordinarily. You then put your sleeves in, sew the side seams, and you're done. Uh, in fact, the, the thing that they took the longest is doing the, um, the bias, the bound finish on the sleeves, which is essentially what creates this nice little um, finish on the edge. Personally, I think there are easier ways of doing that. Um, I actually think just making a band would be much quicker, but they don't have, a do, have you do it like that. So I like the difference of the make. Um, it certainly isn't a, um, yeah, it isn't a, a long make by any stretch of the imagination. What did I think of the dress overall though? When I put the dress on, I have to tell you I was a bit underwhelmed because I had this vision of it really being a nice, simple, straight down dress with this really cute back detail. 
things I wasn't expecting um, were that the sleeves were, were massively big for me. So when I turn sideways, I've got like side boob and all sorts of things going on, um, which I'm like, whoa, no, nobody wants to see that. Um, and even now, um, they're not a grow on sleeve, so it's not something I normally experience when you've actually got a proper sleeve. They, they are quite, they stick out quite a lot, which I actually quite like as a styling, but it does create bulk, um, well, not bulk, you know what I mean, it just, it's, there's shapes going on there, um, and so I've actually gone back in and made, literally just gone in and, and made that sleeve um, uh, smaller by, by you know, sewing, sewing the sleeve down, so I hope that made sense. Um, and then the length was mid-calf, I think. Now, I didn't take a picture before. This is me dressmaking for me. I know I'm doing a review for you guys. Um, and so probably I should have been taking pictures, but I didn't because I was in the flow of it. Um, it, it was quite, it was mid-calf on me. And also, um, because of the elastic in the back, it's sort of an A-line shape, which in the pictures, it looks more like it's straight down. I don't know if they've done some jiggery pokey there or not, but it isn't. It's more of an A-line skirt, and for me, that just doesn't suit me at all. Um, so I, I ended up going in. Um, sorry, I've got a whippet chasing pigeons. I ended up going um, back in and taking those side seams in by a considerable amount each side. Um, I then decided, so once I'd got the skirt in the shape I liked, I actually experimented with the length of it and I ended up taking off about, um, what's that, about three inches or so to the length, just so that it sits just below my knee. Um, and once I'd made all those adjustments, I was really comfortable with, uh, with the fit of the dress. And don't forget, that's what I love about dressmaking, that's what we should enjoy about dressmaking. Um, you know, I, I love the fact that I can go in back in and make the adjustments I want to in order to create a wearable dress. And I have worn this dress, I only finished it yesterday, wore it all day yesterday. And that's actually a really unusual feature, having this, um, the gap at the back. Um, and I, it's not as hot as it has been um, here today. Um, but I imagine in the heat that we have had, or if you live in a hot country, or if you're going on holiday, I've got to tell you, having your, um, the back isn't exposed at all really, but having that um, area for air to come in, it's really, really nice, and I actually really like it. I think it's a pretty cute feature. So all in all, another um, another successful um, subscription box from Little Miss So and So. I haven't yet had um, had anything negative to say. Uh, why would I? They're such amazing products, and I really, really would urge you to go over um, to Little Miss So and So's website. They do have the most amazing um, a range range of subscriptions available. Um, one that is um, particularly popular at the moment is the um, Learn to Dress Make, and that's a six month subscription um, uh, done with Size Me Sewing. And uh, you basically get everything you need in the box to build your skills of dressmaking. You start off with a boxy tee, um, there's the Vivian blouse in there, um, and others. I don't want to give, uh, give too much away. But you do get a choice of fabric, um, I believe, um, and obviously the pattern, all the notions, but also you get videos that have been recorded um, by the designer themselves, which is absolutely amazing. Um, and uh, yeah, it's a, some very exciting people in the sewing world are about to start talking about that. So I can't wait to hear more from them um, about their sewing journey with Little Miss So-and-So. Um, so, and I'm really, really um, proud to be part of that. Um, Nicola just has the most amazing aesthetic. Her, where, uh, where her warehouse is open every Saturday. She's just about to change her opening hours till nine to one on a Saturday. And I'm gonna be there through um, two of the Saturdays in July, so the 15th and two weeks after that, um, doing assisted sewing. So you can sign up to come and sew with me. You bring a project and I assist you whilst you sew, which is great fun. But she also has an, um, an amazing array of workshops coming up. So in fact, you can go and learn to sew the SD trousers with her. And also she's gonna be doing a bag making um, course very soon as well, bag making day workshop. Um, so some lots and lots of exciting things going on. And don't forget guys, you can get your 10% um, off your first subscription box using the car, code CARA10, and I'll pop that on the screen now. So I hope you've enjoyed seeing my sewing journey. Please let me know what you think in the comments below. It means the world to me. Give me a thumbs up, um, and please click the subscribe button whilst you're there. It's lovely to know you're here. Until next time, take care, everybody. Stay safe and well. See ya.